G'day, let's play some more Wings Remastered, where we are very fast approaching the end. French, British and American Aero Squadrons have now totally linked forces to send the Kaiser a unified message. Surrender. I'm leading a five-man patrol over the Argonne Forest this evening, with visions of triumph etched in my mind. The Hun should have honorably accepted Wilson's 14 points long ago. Now they'll have to go down in shame, chaos and retreat. And then the rise up worse than before. Alright, five of us going out. So, what are you going to come across? Nine or eleven, no doubt. Always outnumbered. With so many Allied planes now dotting the reclaimed skies of the continent, we were but a tile in a mosaic. More significant were the five Fokkers assailing us in one of their last valiant stands. Hmm, five on five, what's that? Where might they be? That guy's probably the closest. Let's get up nice and high. Just made it. Took out our fair share. The rest are bloody useless. Failed missions. We're a second lieutenant. Can't blame us. We're the only one who killed anyone. Bulgaria has surrendered. There's no longer any doubt that the Central Powers are done for. Ludendorff must have the soul of an executioner to continue sending his men into battle. We're off to bomb the Mezier depot to encourage their withdrawal. Bomb run. I gave silent thanks to our infantry as I moved into bombing range of the already crumbling train station. The resounding shells coming from the ground reminded me that our work was not done. Alright, that'll be tricky. Second big white one, and the little one not at the end of the road. I missed him. Alright, that's him.
Only three planes. And again, the ones that come from over here are already too low for you to actually hit. Missed the train, really? Stars and Stripes now arrive regularly at Reem with nothing but good news. Read a great story yesterday about how the Allied capture of San Quentin has given the Hindenburg Line a good swift kick in the backside. Looking to make some news of our own, the four of us on the mid-morning patrol are flying to Hearson to claim the rest of that sector's skies. Alright, basic patrol. See if we can survive it. Getting a headline in the national press would be a tough ask. But I knew if I got all three of the fuckers below me, I'd at least make the front page of my local rag. Maybe. Maybe you focus on surviving. Go for one on the left. Those two will go for the other two. would return with a vengeance in a couple of years time. Hey, we're nice again. Desertions abound in the once noble Luftstrike craft. Mutiny is the only sane alternative for those in the Hun infantry who want to live past the next few weeks. Farah read our orders to bomb the Ulnoir train station over Otis's Eggs Benedict this morning. While my appetite was somewhat upset by the idea of wreaking further havoc across the line, breakfast was too good not to finish. Train station and the train. There were a few troops at Aulnois waiting to catch the Frontline Express. Soon the soldiers would have a good excuse for not going anywhere. 
All right, first, last, and the big one on the right. Ooh, we've only got four bombs. Since enemy planes are supposedly a minimal supply, Marshal Foch has requested that all aero squadrons worry less about patrolling and more about ground targeting. General Pershing is in accord, so Farah is sending us to strafe the Meuse trenches, where our American brothers are booting the Bosch from places they never should have been in the first place. Bloody infantry strafing missions. Couldn't blame the Hun reserves for running at will as we blasted the soggy banks of the Muse. I wanted them to outrun me and live the rest of their lives in peace, but they'd have to run fast. Anything to actually get over here? Maybe we can go a fair way. Pretty sure it's more on the left side. They just don't die when you hit them. Less than half by a mile. Crap mission. Otis couldn't be happier. He received a splendid letter from his daughter saying she's getting married. Since Wilson has announced discussions of an armistice with Germany's Prince Max, she'll wait until dear old dad comes home for the big event. The four of us on patrol to Marsh promised to do some fancy aerobatics to celebrate Otis's glad tidings. Farah wishes we'd be more careful. Four of us. Up against. One. Hmm. We caught a solitary D7 by surprise and were unwilling to show it mercy. We'd pledged to bring Otis a trophy from our day's work, and this Hun's propeller was the best we could do. Mine? We're going to go for altitude, we're only going up against one, let's get straight at it. 
In celebration of his daughter's nuptials, Otis outdid himself last night. What he prepared was better than any meal I've ever had. Escargot, pâté de foie gras, and beef bourguignon all in one sitting. I was so full this morning I could barely move, let alone pack my plane to bomb the Bitburg aerodrome. War has never been better. <laughs> bomb the hangar and the planes. Otis's meal tasted heavenly on the way down. It burned like sin on the way up. My full stomach proved as churning as an empty one. Quick success at Bitburg would get me home to an emergency seltzer. Alright, how are we going to remember that? Near the crossroads and the big white one next one. it takes control of you. Yeah, how are you supposed to get that achievement? Today's balloon busting sortie to Verdun brings the infernal trenches to mind. No doubt victory is sweet, but the smell of German blood is no different from our own. I will never forget that smell. Wet, dry, the iron content holds the scent of metal. Will I leave my nightmares behind or will I take them home? I beg my senses not to haunt me forever. Major Penal. Let's see what you got, Fritz. Attacked by six D2s, my pal and I were amazed Fritz still had the air power to defend an obsolete balloon. The German Imperial Air Service refused to roll over until the final papers were signed. Two on six. That sounds easy, doesn't it? Let's run away. We survived 
long enough after the AA just took us out. Wonder what a man like Farrah will do after the war. For that matter, I wonder what all us flyers will do. Right now, we should probably just worry about surviving to see the end. We're patrolling late this afternoon at Namur. Three of the boys and I want to say a special Alfida saying to any of the Huns still airborne. Alright, well I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.